Hi everyone, hope you're good. So today we are continuing with my empties series um, and I have a lot of skincare products in front of me right now. So I'm going to do a quick stopgap type of um, brush through so I don't end up making this video longer than it needs to be. So because um, looking at the products I have in here, because I have so many products from The Ordinary um, just on its own, I'm going to do a separate Ordinary's empties video. I think that might be the best thing. And I'll talk about the other skincare products that I've used outside of that in this video. So I think that might be the best thing. So yeah, so without further ado, let's get into this. So the first thing I want to talk about is something I've spoken about before in my previous videos. And this is my Vitamin E Nourishing Night Cream from Superdrug. And it's just an, a really, really good, affordable moisturizer. It has a really creamy texture. It absorbs into the skin really, really well. I have the day and the night version. I'm not actually sure what I've done with the day version. I think because I haven't finished that up. Um, yeah, so this is the one I finished up because I do have quite a few day moisturizer options. Whereas with night cream, I think I only have two on the go. So... I was bound to use this up a lot more quickly than I am than I was the day version. It's just a nice scented. It is fragrance, by the way, and um, it's a nourishing night cream, as it says. And my face does not feel dry or overly um, sticky or oily with this cream. It's such a good affordable cream, and if you're in Superdrug and you just want to try a good affordable moisturizer for nighttime you might want to try this and if in case you were wondering as well the only difference between the day and the night moisturizer is um usually it's spf so the day moisturizer obviously has spf 15 and the nighttime one doesn't and i don't know i mean I, in my opinion i haven't really noticed any difference in the texture between the two but you know for all i know the nighttime version might have maybe the oils or the more emollient products higher up in the higher up in the ingredients list just so it can make it a bit more of a you know um a richer a richer cream for nighttime which you probably wouldn't be able to get away with in the day but um yeah i think that's probably the only notable difference between the two so the next thing i want to talk about is another day moisturizer or is another nighttime moisturizer and this is from simple this is the simple age regeneration um, age resistant night cream with the green tea goodness so I really really like this I think it was more the packaging that attracted me to it only because it has this really really comfortable really really solid pump I love the packaging of this and another thing I like about it is that because it is actually airless um, once the product is completely used up you can't actually press it anymore so I really, really like it for it um, you get 50 ml of products in here and I guess in normal um like in some day or night moisturizers you might only get 30 ml but in here you get 50 and actually in this tub you get 100 ml of product so you get quite a bit of product between the two of these um, i just like this because again it's simple it's uncomplicated it's just a straightforward night cream with um, antioxidants from the green tea and uh, it's not um perfume it doesn't have any added perfume or color or anything like that to it and again it's got skin loving ingredients which is kind of like their popular tagline so i just like it because it's a good formula it's not too oily it absorbs really well it's a really good texture to the skin um it doesn't make me feel young it doesn't make my skin feel any tighter or firmer but it does make it feel moisturized and it doesn't irritate it so it's a really really good one to have next is uh, another product actually from the Superdrug Vitamin E Skincare range and this is the Moisture Boost Facial Serum and I really really like this again because it is um, just an unusual, it's an unusual texture in that it almost looks like lotion in a mini pump but um, it's a bit more of a concentrated um, lotion type of serum so it's not like a clear serum that you're that i'm used to and say like my ordinary serums it's like a runny textured lotion so it looks creamy and it just works in terms of um how it makes my skin feel it just makes it feel soft um it has um obviously it has vitamin e it says it also has fruit natural fruit acids it has a silky texture 
um, it has vitamins A, B, F and H and it's fast absorbing and obviously because of the antioxidants in here it's supposed to help stop free radical damage and obviously help your um, protects your skin cell DNA so in terms of stopping it from breaking down which is what um, free radicals do and pollutants and all that so yeah it's just a really good um, everyday affordable accessible um, serum unlike anything I've tried before it's a good product from the vitamin E range and so if you're in super drug and you want to try it out definitely give it a go it makes my skin feel really soft when I use it and it's kind of one of those like beginner type products so if you're not used to serums or moisturizers in any way and you just want to try something try um, these two products you shouldn't be too disappointed with them I mean I think they'll be really good for most skin types um, it says on there it's actually for normal to dry skin but I have normal to oily skin and I, I'm fine with it so I think most people can use these next product I want to talk about is um, a sunscreen that I bought from Primark this is the PS Beach Protect Mattifying Face Cream with SPF and Vitamin E and it has SPF 30 and it's just a lovely um, formula that actually stops my face I noticed that my face actually doesn't get as oily as it normally would with my other SPF which I will talk about and I just like the fact that it's a mattifying SPF the only thing I don't like about it is because um, I, f um, I believe this is a physical sunscreen so it has that slightly white cast to it but I always use it under makeup so um, it's not really a problem for me it says it's water resistant light and gentle and also hydrates skin and it has a really good minimum SPF of 30, which is what most people should aim for. And if something has SPF 15 or 20, 25, I mean, it's kind of, it's okay, but it's not going to give you the best protection. So SPF 30 onwards is the, usually, you know, a, a good standard to go by. And I just like this because, again, it just keeps my face from getting too oily and it protects my skin. Um, so yes, one to try. Um, I'm pretty sure they'll probably have this in different packaging in Primark if you were to go and find this now um, because Primark always change their products around so often. Um, so the other products that I was talking about is my Tropic by Malibu SPF 30 face cream and this is the one I was using and I bought it from Poundland. It's um, again 40 ml of product, my Primark one is 50 and I just like this one because it absorbs into the skin so well and it doesn't leave a cast at all. The only thing is I find that this is a bit more moisturizing so I feel like my face kind of gets a little bit more oily than it would with the Primark one but um, again it's one that you can definitely try if you have like normal to dry skin um, for oily skin it probably isn't necessarily the best one out there but you know for a good few hours you're fine it just won't last all day before it starts getting oily but it's a really good formula in terms of the initial application so I really do like this next we have a product from Nip and Fab so this is their glycolic fix daily cleansing pads um, and I got this I think in a glossy box or one of my subscription boxes from last year and you get like I think was it five pads in here which you just take one of them and you use it to wipe over your skin after cleansing and it's meant to help with exfoliation and skin cell renewal and also help with texture as well so it's really good if you have acne pro skin like I do and I found that when I use this um, just helped me give um, give my skin a smoother texture so um, it's just good for exfoliating without you having to use a physical exfoliator so I think it also contains witch hazel hyaluronic acid and a few other bits but yeah it's predominantly a glycolic acid pad and I just love the fact that it's in a travel friendly case so if you're going somewhere that's not too far you can always pop your pads in here you can always do your own as well so if you have a glycolic acid toner and you have some cotton pads you can do your own and have this as your little travel case so you don't need to carry a bulky you know bottle of toner next we have three products so this is like the biggest and best products from the chemistry brand. This is from the under the Decian umbrella brand that also does the ordinary. And this is the hyaluronic concentrate and it says a big tub of hyaluronic acid. It's amazing. I had this and it probably lasted me almost a year. And I just I bought it I think during the um the fifth um the fifth of July sale, fourth of July sale, sorry, um during summer and it's just been a really good product to use all of on my skin it's not the best in terms of making my skin feel like you know um 
moisturized like lasting moisturization i still will need to seal this with some moisturizer but it's just good for that initial um, um kind of deeper moisturization and then i can put some um regular moisturizer on top on the top layers of my skin to seal it in and i wake up with really soft skin so it's really good it's a clear gel absorbs really quickly as well so i love 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 this stuff if this comes on sale again if it does i'm going to grab it again but it's a really good product so i think i paid like nine pounds something on offer and that's just amazing for how much product do i get you get 240 ml and that's eight fluid ounces um, of products in here so it's amazing and if you compare this to the 30 ml of product you get in the ordinary little dropper bottles this is like i don't know what is 30 eight times as much eight times 24 eight times three is 24 so yeah you get eight times as much um, products in terms of hyaluronic acid in here so it's amazing amazing value Another product that I used to use to use a long time ago that I actually stopped using is the Garnier Skin Active Pure Active Intensive Spots and Black Blackheads Triple Action um, Moisturizer. And I used this for the longest time until I moved on to like just regular moisturizer. Um, this was probably before I started gaining a lot of knowledge in terms of my skincare products and products to use. It's a really good product. It's not for all over the face, I don't believe. I think it's more of a spot treatment. So I used to use this and it actually did work. So um, the only reason I don't use it now is because I've moved on to other products. So I don't necessarily need to use it. But if you're um, starting out with your kind of skincare and you've got acne prone skin, you've got all... Um, if you're a teenager and you want to try some products try this and i think i got it from either look fantastic or feel unique assuming you can't find it at boots or super drug but you know you definitely want to give this a go because i feel like it definitely did work i think it has salicylic acid or glycolic acid um the ingredients aren't on the back of this i think it was on the paper packaging which is a bit annoying but i will look it up and just verify this on the screen so you know what it contains what active ingredients but it, i felt like it worked when i was using it and then lastly i have two products um so this is the glycolic hydrating serum that i bought from a brand called md selections i got it from tk max so this is one of the gems i got from tk max and it's just a really good hyaluronic acid serum but this one actually contains algae extract allantoin um, aloe barbadensis leaf juice which is aloe vera extra uh, aloe vera juice um Camellia sinensis, sinensis leaf extract, Artemisa vulgaris extract. Uh, I don't know what that is, but again, I'm pretty sure it's a plant plant extract of some sort. And it's just, um, it's kind of like a, a um, hyaluronic acid with extra um, beneficial ingredients for your skin. And I just like it for that because this has a bit more, a few more ingredients than my normal hyaluronic acid serum from the ordinary that's more of a basic hyaluronic acid serum this has a little bit more i think i paid 7.99 for it at super at super drug at tk max and i've used it all up it's just a really good one unfortunately when i went back to it i couldn't find this any i couldn't find this in my tk max which is one of the annoying things about tk max you know if you find something that you like just buy like three or four of them if it's on the shelf because chances are if you go back you won't find it but it's a really really good formula it absorbed really well left my skin feeling soft as it should have and i felt like it made a, a difference to the um suppleness and the, and the texture of my skin as well lastly we have a product that i used for a while um and then stopped using and started using again but i wasn't sure if i should have used it if it, if it had expired but I continued anyway until I finished. Don't do that, kids. So this is a product by Pericone MD and it's a well-respected skincare brand. So this is their Blue Plasma. As you can see, mine is no longer blue. It's gone like a green color and it's meant to be um, a good product for targeting scars, brightening skin, skin cell renewal. It's actually, I think it's actually targeted at mature skin, but um, I'm pretty sure I read or I saw on TV that it's good for acne prone skin as well to like help with hyperpigmentation and scars so i used this for the longest time and then i stopped and went on to something else but um it's a really good product it has rave reviews it has a cult following it's not new on the market at all so if you've used this or if you know about this this is an og product so leave a comment down below let me know and it's just a good all over serum you use it once a day 
and then you apply the rest of your product sleeve follow it with moisturizer but it's meant to be one of those like all-in-one type of serums but yeah i kind of moved on from those type of serums now i kind of use like a bunch of different ones from the ordinary but when i did use this one my acne was really really bad a couple of years ago and um more recently like say another was it two years ago whenever um I enjoyed using that for like, I found that it helped a bit the only thing that you have to come on get over it is the fishy smell but apart from that it really is a good product with the cult following for a good reason oh uh, lastly um another skincare product that I've used up is this duac duac um benzoyl peroxide gel and so this is a prescription gel that I got obviously from my doctor so I wanted to try something um, that would actually target the acne that I was getting because um, there was a time a couple of months ago when I was just getting hormonal acne on this side and um, um, I was prescribed this particular gel so this gel is meant to be used um, obviously after you've cleansed you, you know, have added some products to your skin um, and then you use it as a spot treatment so I wouldn't advise using this um, as a first step because if you know you're still going to use moisturizer you're going to end up moving this product all over your face so um, yes yeah, so you want to use it in the area where it's supposed to so benzoyl peroxide is one of those um, one of those ingredients that I know um, from research that it is one of the few ingredients that actually fights the acne the peat acne bacteria that causes acne so um, it fights deep into the layers of your skin so it doesn't just sit on top it actually penetrates deeper and it really really does help i've been using this for a good couple of months now and yeah it's a really really good gel the only problem with it is that you can get dry skin for it from it so you need to moisturize your skin really really well but yeah, so if you're having acne, you've been having prolonged acne or you think you're having a hormonal acne, that's just not budging. Um, and hormonal acne is actually a lot, more, a lot more difficult to treat because obviously it's dependent on your hormones, your mood, your behaviour, you know, everything internal. So um, if you think you might need it, definitely speak to your doctor and see if you can get a prescription for this. But this is a really, really good one um, and I feel like it definitely helps. It has 5% benzoyl peroxide and as I said, it does dry your skin out um, over time. So you're not supposed to use it for all stre you know, long stretches. You're meant to take breaks with it. So that's what I did. I'd use it for a good few weeks, then stop, then use it for another few weeks. And I'll use it as the last step in my skincare routine. So I get to concentrate it. And usually what I find is that um, over a day or two, it actually just takes away the spot completely or it takes it down so much that you can't even feel it. And if it's one of those painful spots, it diminishes the pain as well. So it is such a really, um, it's such a good acne fighting product that I would recommend over and over again. Um, yeah, it's less invasive than um, Accutane and it's just one of those like easily, easy to use products. The only thing I would say with this is um, you can't use it on the same night that you, if you're using vitamin C or any kind of um, antioxidant, you cannot use this because this is an oxidant. So um, they basically counteract each other. So um, yeah, this would stop your antioxidant products working basically. So I wouldn't use this with a uh, vitamin C serum um, on the same night. So I would use this if I'm using any other product so say like um, if I'm using a cleanser then like say a hyaluronic acid serum then I have a, a, a moisturizer then I'll top it up with this but on a night when I'm using say vitamin C for instance you know one of the most um, popular antioxidants out there I wouldn't use this because it would you know stop it from working so that's just a tip from me but um, those are the few skincare products obviously that's Obviously, that's not everything that I've used in terms of skincare. I will save. I will save um, another section of this for the products from the ordinary, which makes up a large part of my skincare. But if you liked anything that you've seen in this video, please don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Um, subscribe to my channel if you haven't already, and hit the notification bell so you don't miss another upload when I do upload. And until next time, stay blessed. Bye.